Okay, we're going to go ahead and create a new VM in VirtualBox. We'll click New. We'll call this Sec Onion slash Splunk. And we'll change the type to Linux. We'll click Next. We'll give it all the memory I have, about 5 gigs. Next. Create. Next. Next. We're going to give this about 100 gigs. Create. Okay, now we'll go to Settings. System. We'll get rid of this floppy drive. And we'll go to Processor. We'll give it an extra CPU. Um, and display tab. We'll give it some more video memory. And the storage. We'll add a disk. We'll click Choose Disk. We'll select the newest Security Onion 14.0442. We'll get rid of this extra disk. And in Network, um, we'll change the NAT to Bridge Adapter. Uh, we'll leave Advanced the same. You can see we have two adapters. It's Realtek as well. So in Adapter 2, we'll enable that. We'll change this to a Bridge Adapter. We'll change it to our Realtek adapter. And in Advanced Settings, we'll change Promiscuous Mode to Allow All. Now we don't need to change any of any of the other tabs. We'll just click OK, and we'll start our virtual machine. Okay, we'll press Enter for install. This install is going to be pretty much next, next, next. So first we're going to start with English. We're going to say continue. We're going to download updates and install third-party software. And continue. We'll say install now. Continue. We'll say continue. Okay, for the keyboard layout, we're just going to say continue. Put my username, seconion. Just leave everything as default. Put a password in there. And we'll just say continue. Okay, I'm going to fast forward through this install. And it's going to prompt us to restart. So, I'll restart. Okay, we're going to log in with the credentials we just created. Okay, now we're going to need to do some setup. Um, and there's a guided installation. We're going to double click on this icon right here, setup. Put our password in here. I'm going to say yes, continue. Yes, configure network interface. Um, ETH0 is going to be our management interface. We're going to set a static IP. Say 192.168.0.155. Click OK. Netmask 255, 255, 255.0. OK. Our gateway is 192.168.0.1. Change all this information accordingly. Okay. 192.168.0.1 space 8.8.8.8 for our DNS servers. Um, we'll just throw a domain name in there. We'll say yes. Configure monitor interface on ETH1. Click OK. Yes, make changes. And it's going to prompt us to reboot. Again, next, next, next kind of installs. 
Um, once we reboot, we'll log in with our credentials. Okay, and we're going to double click on the setup icon again. We'll set up the sniffer port. We'll say yes, continue. We'll skip network configuration. I'm going to leave this in evaluation mode. We'll say OK. Our sniffer port is going to be on ETH1. OK. We'll create our squeal username. I'll just make that the same. And our password. Click OK. Confirm your password. Okay. Uh, yes, proceed. I'm going to fast forward through this install. And it's going to install a number of icons and squeal on your desktop. So, setup is now complete. Okay. Um, some more information you can read through all this about updating. Okay. Downloaded all the rule sets. We need to open port 22. If we want SSH, okay. Training, okay. All right, so now we have Security Onion installed. What we're going to do is install the VirtualBox Guest Editions. So under Devices, we'll click that Install VirtualBox. And when the icon pops up, we'll right-click and mount the volume. And we'll double-click on the image. And we'll right-click on Autorun.sh and execute this. Type in our password and it's going to install the guest editions and when that's done we're just going to hit enter to exit the window. Okay, now we're going to exit out of this window, open up a terminal, we're going to reboot the system. Okay, we're logging back in. Right. Okay, so let's go ahead and expand the screen now. Alrighty. Now we're going to test the IDS. So we're going to go to Squeal. We're going to double click on the icon on the desktop. We're going to enter in the credentials that we created at setup. We're going to monitor both ETH1 and the OSEC connections. And we'll start squeal. Okay, there's some alerts in there already. But what we're going to do is generate one um, by going to a certain site on the internet. So open up Chrome and we'll get some more information on the packets in here. We're going to show packet data and rules. And when we have a browser, we're going to make sure that we go to incognito browser and make sure this isn't cached. If I've already gone here before, the IDS won't flag on it. So we'll type in testmyids.com and Google's going to say it's a harmful program. We'll click details and visit this site. Okay. Uh, an alert generated in Squeal. Um, it says GPL attack response. If we click on that, we see the um, response ID check return root. So that was what was on the website. It was root ID, um, and that's what Squeal flagged. So the IDS is working. Um, it's ingesting data, and it's successfully alerting us if there's malicious um, information going across the network. In my next video, I'll show you how to visualize that data in Splunk. Um, you can do some cool correlations, uh, create alerts based off of the data, and a lot more. So um, be sure to check out the next video. Thanks for watching.